In the distance, you will see Pudong there, one of the tallest skyscrapers in the world. Now, we're in Yu Garden area. This brings back the old authentic China from the 1500s, and it's from the Qing and Ming Dynasty. Now, there's lots of little rock gardens around here, some real beautiful architecture that you can indulge, and lots of little places to go shopping. Now, nestled in the back of these buildings here are cute little alleyways where you'll see the shops, all tourists, I think, from all over the world are venturing down this area. And you can hear all different dialects from all over China. People are here to discover. This is absolutely something to take in. In the distance, the skyline in Pudong. I purchased a dragon hat probably four or five years ago. Well, I need to get another one. And I just walked by this booth here about two minutes ago and I was contemplating do I really need it? The price has gone up a little bit, but let's see how well we can negotiate, okay? I'm gonna try. Now, I have a blue one that you've seen in many of my videos, but I think we're gonna go for a red one here. We either have the brown, the red, or the blue. Which one do you like the most? I got, kinda already have a blue one. You like the blue though, and the brown. And the red. <laughs> so, can we do 50? <laughs> two? 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 Two is 100, no deal yet, but I'm trying to get three here. So three, 125 for three? <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay, uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give it a price. We're getting there. 140, okay, we're gonna get three for 140, let's go. Okay, so I've decided on my favorite hat that I have probably worn, I don't know, maybe a thousand times. I bought three of them here. A white one, a black one, a red one to go with the blue one. I don't think she was very happy at the start there. I think she actually thought I was trying to get two hats for 50. But in the end, we got them for about 43-ish something. I'm very happy with the purchase. Now, this is what I'm talking about right behind me here. We're gonna head in there and try to find some good deals. I love this type of shopping here in China. The made in China products, I nickname it Mick, brand Mick. So this area is not just for tourists. It has little pockets of authentic bazaar where you can find anything from household items to underwear to towels and little knickknacks. So it's just curious to look around, even some jade and bracelets, old radios and whatnot, even tape. You know, it's cute to spend just 30 minutes browsing around and feeding your curiosity. Uh-oh, I think they have dragon hats here. She's making by hand are these red little bracelets that are so cute. I don't know what the... I don't know what you would do with that. What is that for? We love this kind of stuff. You never know what you're gonna find here. Uh, they've already got me for three hats. I'm in deep already with 140 RMB. There we go. Okay. Wish nothing is impossible. You know, I suggest even coming to China with an empty suitcase and going home with a full suitcase. Ah, oh, look at that hat shop. Hello, hat lady. <laughs> Oh, this one's 25. That's it? Yeah, I don't, can't really negotiate on that. Oh, wow, these are so good, too. Look at that. High quality. Wow. You need, wow. oh, look at that. They've expanded on the hats now. Look at that. You can side out that. visors. Okay, that's a purchase. Too big? A mm, little bit. Nice hat, though. Let's go. You would think you would want to buy this because my birthday's coming up. Hats, antio, batteries, flashlights. It's all available here. Yulia, there's the original. Don't be too hard on the sellers. Well, I just found this hat that I paid 43, thought I got a bargain for. And the first offer price from this guy is 20. Guess what? I'm gonna load up on hats for you guys. 
Okay, 60 for three? How about, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take all three of these for 60. Sing Piandi. Beautiful coffee shops in the background. Everyone is just enjoying their day. Life is going by. Wow, what a great vibe. Very trendy. What a difference from uh, the traditional. I mean, these are still the traditional buildings, but I think they've been renovated by an American designer. And this turned into a fashionable hangout with foreign kind of delicacies and bakeries and cocktail areas. How about we try that? Yeah, we can come back here soon. Oh, until three o'clock, yeah. I, I would, yeah, I think we've stumbled upon a great place to have lunch. Well, what do we have here? This is a brewery, I think. Burgers, beers, afternoon menus that you can have. Italian, wow, look at that. There's the refinery gastro bar there. Beautiful fountain in the center here. Of course, a lot of international names are selling their products down here. One thing I have noticed here though is a lot of set lunches here. And these are really uh, well priced if you think about it. Starting from 68 RMB, that's about 10 bucks. Well, how is that compared to your country? Yulia is going to be guiding us. What's that? Could be a C. <laughs> it's candy shops. Probably one of the nicest. Uh, ice cream shops I've seen. Venchi. It's a good thing you can buy by one each, right? Mmm. And the packaging is so nice. Look at this, the selection of ice cream. And chocolate, look at the chocolate. Beautiful trees. So you just said, uh, you find authentic Cantonese cuisine and all these international brands. I guess there's a lot of demand for that. Look at that, very creative, huh? That is one of the biggest inflatable things Play I've seen. Playing humans you've ever seen. I don't want to get close to that and pop it. <laughs> In case it pops. <laughs> Actually, yeah, this is AI box and this is a transparent god. Oh, that is very deep and complex. <laughs> Shanghai. Well, we have a lunch reservation. We're going to head over to that area again. Or we could go just back to Ritz Carlton and have the club run. We could, indeed. Hello, 